Greetings, Ventures. This is Lorne, your Guild Advisor, and welcome back to Familiar Record, my video series where I highlight the characters of Damachi, also known as Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon One at a Time? As I previously stated, the primary goal for these first few videos is to put the spotlight on the relatively minor characters that will begin to receive more focus in the upcoming Season 2, premiering this summer in July. Without further ado, let's get started. Naza Eresuis, age 18, level 2. Currently, the sole member of Miak Familia, a familia who deals in the trade of healing items such as health and magic potions. Miak Familia lives and operates in their shop called the Blue Pharmacy. Naza belongs to a race called Cianthropes, sometimes referred to as dog people, since they have dog-like characteristics in the way their ears and tail. One other Cianthrope in the Damachi series you may be familiar with is Lulane from Hermes Familia. Lily, who is actually a polym, has also used her magic to disguise herself as a Cianthrope. Naza has medium-length light brown hair with some strands of hair around her right eye. She normally wears a white cloak over her shirt, which only has one long right sleeve that combines with a sole glove to hide a prosthetic silver arm. Despite her usual monotone voice and sleepish eyes, Naza is normally very attentive, especially when her god Miak is found being overly friendly to other women. Her venturing title is the Mile Hound, referencing her dog-like appearance. As I mentioned before, Fujino Omori, the author of the Damachi series, is heavily inspired by various mythologies in the creation of his characters and universe. Naza and Miak are no exceptions. In this case, he draws upon Irish mythology and the tales of the god Miak and the Uda Ergatlav, the first king of the Tua de Danan, a supernatural race which fought against the Fir Bolg, a race of people inhabiting Ireland, for possession of the land. During this war between races, the Uda lost an arm and received a replacement arm made of silver from Dion Kecht, the god of healing. This is where the Ergatlav name comes from as it translates to silver hand. Just like in Irish mythology, Naza owes a lot to the gods of healing. Naza possesses the skill Synthesize, which allows her to create very effective potions which can heal just by contact, similar to a healing spell. This skill is a necessity for familias who want to operate the potion shop. Naza has two notable creations that the anime decided to gloss over, though that's to be expected since they cut out a lot of Naza's scenes from the light novel and pretty much reduced her to a background character that doesn't even speak when she does appear. The first of which is the Dual Potion, a potion that is capable of restoring health and mind or mental energy at the same time. Naza's creation was the first of its kind and what allowed her and Miok to pay off a loan to Dion Kecht in the Quest Quest side story. A potion with two functions is invaluable in the dungeon, especially if an adventurer is in a tight spot and unable to take the time to consume two separate potions. Having dual potions could potentially save adventurer storage space as well. Bell actually gives Welf a dual potion after Welf exhausts his mind after multiple uses of his magic, Willow Wisp, during the events of Volume 5, when Bell and his party are escaping to the 18th floor after suffering a past parade by the hands of Takemikazuchi Familia. The second of Naza's creations is the Malboro Pouch, which you can see Lily use in Episode 10. However, the anime does not reveal that the pouch was an invention of Naza, created from her knowledge of ingredients from both inside the dungeon and outside of Horario. Naza actually suffered humorously creating this pouch, rubbing her nose against everything in sight to get the smell out during the creative process. As you can see, Naza is a rather important supporting character in Damachi, and you'd only be able to get the majority of this information if you have read the light novels or experienced the Quest Quest event in the Damachi mobile game, Damachi Memoria Freeze, published by Crunchyroll Games. As I stated before, the anime basically reduced Naza to a background character with no voice lines in the anime. She first appears in episode 10, which takes place during volume 5 of the light novels, but Naza actually first appeared in volume 2. It's in this volume that Naza is introduced to the story as a member of Miak Familia. Belle enters the Blue Pharmacy before meeting up with Lily to go to the dungeon. Both the manga and the beginning of the Quest Quest event in Damemo actually adapt this scene. Naza's relationship with Belle is clearly defined as the salesperson and a naive customer. Naza is constantly trying to sell Belle potions, due to her familia's poor circumstances, and tries to guilt trip Bell and even make him nervous at the end of the transaction when she teasingly says she loves him. However, it's during this introduction that Naza pushes Bell to buy a magic potion after discovering that he learned magic and experienced the mind down after exhausting his mental energy. It's this magic potion that Bell uses when fighting against the killer ants while defending Lily, 
Belle and Lily may have not made it out alive if it weren't for that magic potion, allowing Belle to continue using Firebolt. The biggest portion of Skip Naza content the anime did not adapt is in the form of the Quest Quest side story that is included in Volume 4 of the Light Novels. Chronologically, this side story takes place during Volume 3, when Eyes is training Belle. Naza approaches Belle directly to accept the quest to gather blue papillon wings, which Lily states is unusual since most requests are filed to the guild, rather than being handed out directly. After completing the quest, it is revealed that Naza was trying to scam Belle by rewarding him with the looted potions. Though there is no good excuse for endangering Belle by giving him weak potions, Naza was prioritizing her familia's needs. While Miak lectures her, Naza retorts that their familia is in bad financial shape due to Mia constantly handing out free potions to adventurers, and most of all, she blames herself. The cost of Naza's prosthetic silver arm was Mia having to take out a large loan from the unkecked Familia, effectively bankrupting them. When the other members of Mia Familia found this out, they left the Familia, leaving Naza as the sole member. Because of this, Naza feels incredibly indebted to Mia, who is also the target of her affections. To help pay off the loan, Belle, Lily, and Hestia agreed to help Naza and Miak gather monster eggs at Ciderario. During the cart ride to the forest, Naza, Lily, and Hestia end up bonding over their frustrations of unrequited love. Even though Miak is a god, it seems he is as dense as Bell. It is also revealed that Naza took six years to level up from one to two, meaning she started being an adventurer before she was 12 years old. This also illustrates just how crazy it is that Bell was able to level up to two within six weeks. While Belle is being used as bait to draw monsters away from the monster eggs, Naza is revealed to be an archer, capable of hitting blood sauruses in the eyes from a long distance with her longbow. It takes a great deal of effort for her to accomplish this, as she suffers from PTSD from losing her arm to a monster. Usually just seeing a monster causes her to shake uncontrollably, but the distance from using a longbow allows her to be comfortable enough to fight. She actually smiles at this, a rare expression from the usually monotone and sleepy-eyed Cianthrope. Between the monster eggs and the wings Belle collected earlier, Naza is able to create the dual potion and pay off a portion of the loan to Dion Kek Familia. This ordeal significantly deepens the bond between Hestia and Miak Familia, with Naza vowing to help Belle whenever he is in need. Lastly, with Volume 5, when Belle's party becomes trapped and Hestia realizes that they haven't come back when expected, Naza advises Hestia to issue out a quest as soon as possible, drawing from her past experience of being in a similar situation in the dungeon. The meeting between Familias to discuss the search for Belle's party actually took place in the Miak Familias store, the Blue Pharmacy, rather than the abandoned church you see in the anime. Naza also takes an active role in the conversation, stating that the speed of the search party is imperative. She regrets that she can't join the party due to her PTSD, but gives Hestia a pouch full of potions that will later see a lot of use in the battle that takes place against the Black Goliath on floor 18. Despite Naza not playing an active part in the search party, her influence is definitely felt. Naza has quite a few scenes in the source material that set her up to be a rather important supporting character, but unfortunately the anime version of Naza ends up being a voiceless character with no speaking parts in the entire show due to cuts. Naza is a valuable member of the supporting cast, being Belle's main source for potions and also the creator of the Malboro Pouch, which repelled monsters as Belle's party was escaping to floor 18. Miak Familia is also one of Hestia Familia's most trusted allies, ready to help in times of need. When an OVA for the original anime series was announced, I initially thought that they would adapt the Quest Quest side story into an animated form, but instead we got an original Hot Spring episode. I would have much preferred a Quest Quest adaptation since Naza will definitely show up in Season 2, and those who are anime only might be lost once Naza gets more screen time. And I certainly hope she gets the screen time she deserves in Season 2. Hopefully this video gave you a bigger appreciation for Naza and a thirst for more of her appearances. If you've only seen the anime and would like to experience Naza's stories, then I strongly suggest that you pick up the light novels, or at least read through Quest Quest found in the back of Volume 4. Alternatively, you can read through the Quest Quest side story in visual novel form in Don Machimori of Freeze, published by Crunchyroll Games and available to download on Android and iOS devices. The game features full voice acting for most of the quest, so you'll actually be able to hear Naza's voice. Daomachi Season 1 is available for streaming on Crunchyroll, Verve, and High Dive, as Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon Season 1. You can also buy the physical release by Sentai Filmworks. 
The Sword of Victoria anime is available for streaming on Amazon if you have Prime. It can also be watched on High Dive outside of North America. This also has a physical release by Sentai Filmworks. Both these animes are produced by JC Staff. The upcoming Arrow to Orion movie is also produced by JC Staff and is licensed to Sentai Filmworks for a theatrical release. Again, I strongly recommend picking up the light novels written by Fujino Omori, as they are the source material for the series, especially if you want to experience Damachi in his purest form. The novels are translated by Yen Press, as well as the manga adaptations, and you can buy both forms of written media from most places where you can purchase books. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a like, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like Familiar Record, as well as anything Damachi. To stay updated on my channel, follow my Twitter and join my Discord. And as always, continue enjoying your time adventuring in Rario and the Dungeon. This is Lorne, your Guild Advisor, signing out.